You're listening to the Endless Party Radio Show with the Doc on Colossal Radio. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, this Tuesday edition of the Endless Party Radio Show. It is great to have you guys on board here with us, and uh, this uh, this gives me great pleasure. Now, see, this is this is something a little different uh, with uh, with a phoner guest uh, that is on board because I didn't know where my my PR guy, uh, the publicist uh, that uh, we refer to, uh, Dave the Bookie, was going with this one. And he said, uh, do you have a favorite sports team or uh, NFL team or, you know, whatever? And I, all I said is, uh, you know what, I, 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 Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, I'm, I, I'll, I'll do, you know, certainly I love the Pennsylvania teams, uh, the state and home base of uh, Colossal Radio, right? But... Uh, I'll take the Pennsylvania teams. I'll I'll do a Pittsburgh. Uh, I'll, I'll take Pittsburgh. You know, from from being a little guy, and um, you know, back in the '60s and '70s when uh, you know Pittsburgh was um, you know taking no prisoners. So then uh, I get um, I get an email. He said uh, we're going to hook you up with a cheerleader from the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I'm going. This is great. And then he said, but we have one from back in the day, which is even better. I said, that's even more fun because now my mind's really going crazy. So we have to we have to welcome to the show Noreen Mercer. I want to make sure I get this uh, last name right. Maybe I'll have her say it. Noreen Mercer. Noreen, are you there? How do we say the last name correctly? The last name is Motory, M-O-D-E-R-Y. All right, I would have said Motory, so I would have, I would have had it wrong. So it is, That's Mo- okay. it is Noreen Mercer Motory. Uh, she is, check this out, man, 1964 cheerleader alumni for the Pittsburgh Steelers. woo I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, uh, Noreen, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Doc. It's great to be with you. And we were known as the Steelerettes, actually. The, uh, that the, was our, our our official name. The Steelerettes. That's what you were known Correct. as. The Steelerettes. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Got gotcha. you. And uh, are they are they still are they still known as the Steelerettes? I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, we were Steelerettes from 1961 to 1969, 1970, where they had them for almost 10 years and then disbanded them. Okay. Um, a lot of different reasons, but uh, that that was our that was our heyday. And, uh, I wonder why they. I wonder why why, why don't why don't we have uh, what 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 went on there that, that that we have no cheerleaders now? What's what's up with that? Well, excuse me. From what I heard, it was because uh, Mr. Rooney, the or the old man who started the team, right, uh, didn't really like us. But he went along with us for almost ten years and said, you know what. We're done with them. They moved into Three River Stadium, and we moved out. <laughs> so to speak. wow, he did, <laughs> Mister. And and this is no and this is no disrespect to the Rooneys. They're they're a very of I've never met them, but I I think they they seem like they are a very solid uh, like a, a solid family. I mean, very um, they're, they're very. Uh, they 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 love keeping people, <laughs> maybe when they should. But they yeah. love. But I mean, but it's funny though that you hear them saying they didn't really like us. I don't know. Um, uh, I, I I I can't see that. I mean, they sure as hell love the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. <laughs> well, well, yeah, it, yeah. It, well, don't forget it was a different time back then. You know, yeah. it, was, uh, it was all about the team, <clears throat> and also the you know it was about making the the, the city proud of you. And the reason why we were brought in is uh, we were uh, from Robert Morris. Uni- it was actually Mar- Robert Morris Junior College back in the day, and they had a uh, director there, Bill Day, and he was the uh, entertainment director of the Steelers, but he was also vice president of Robert Morris. So during the '60s, they had nobody in the stands. In fact, they started off at Forbes Field, and then moved over to Pitt Stadium in the '60s. And uh, they wanted to fill the state, the, you know, the stadium. So they said, well, why don't we bring some girls in here? And uh, Robert Morris didn't have a football team at the time. So they put us together. And, you know, that's how we, we became the, actually the first NFL sanctioned cheerleaders of, of the NFL. Oh, you were, you were actually the first sanctioned cheerleaders of the NFL. Correct. Yeah. Wow. The affiliation. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, pretty wow. cool. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool. Noreen Mercer mm-hmm. uh, Motory, 1964 cheerleader alumni with uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they, they don't have any more cheerleaders. It was only, what, 10 years, that's all. Yeah, about nine, 10 years, yeah, from yeah. the 60s. In fact, in fact, they did a, a rundown in uh, Sports Illustrated of the uh, Steeler years, and 
fact, we were the only things notable in the 60s. <laughs> if you look in the timeline below, <laughs> they had cheerleaders. <laughs> you know, I mean, we were, they were building, let's put it that way. So, I mean, luckily, you know, they did really well in the 70s and you know, became the team of, of, of the greatness that they are even today. So we, yeah. we love them. We still love them, and uh, we love the Roonies, and, you know, they've been great to us. And, uh, you know, it's just been a, a great time, and we're still having a good time. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So did you make a lot of money? What kind of, what, what was our money like back then when you were a cheerleader? What did oh, you get? Yeah, yeah re- <laughs> really? <laughs> you can ask me. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. There was, uh, no, there was no money. Uh, we provided our own uniforms. We provided our own, you know, stuff. They gave us pom-poms. That was one thing. But everything else we uh, we did on our own. It was, uh, you know, it was a, a real labor of love. Let's put it that way. Oh my! So we well, did love it. Well, that's yeah, that's we love it. that's bullshit. <laughs> 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 I can say it now. That's bullshit. You know what? You should get somebody together. You should get somebody together saying, "Listen, we're not going to sue you for millions, but we need at least like a hundred dollars." So you know, we need a hundred dollars. I want to. I want. I want. You know, I want a hundred bucks. Just a hundred dollars. I need somebody to send me a hundred dollars. Uh, so no, no money, and they wouldn't even buy uniforms. What? And that's something. That was. That's what it was back then. Yeah, don't forget, this was the 60s. Everybody did things on their own. We were the, and we were, you know, the steel town, and we were hardworking people, and, you know, it didn't mean anything. We, we did what we had to do. Yeah. And that's what we did. And as I said, we just loved it. We had such a great time, our group of girls. We still get together today, so we, we, oh, really? we do have a great time. Today. So you still get yeah. together? Our, our, uh, our, uh, how many of them were there at the time? How many? Oh, well, yeah, well, every year there was different. There were different ones, you know. They, we started off, and you had to be a, a, a student at Robert Morris at the time. So there were some girls that were there for one year. <clears throat> excuse me. But there were a lot that were there for two, maybe three years, depending on the courses that they took at Robert Morris. Okay. So I was there for just one year. And then uh, in 1965, I got married, so then you couldn't be married and be a cheerleader at the time. So oh, oh you that couldn't? Was the end of my, <laughs> oh, no, that oh, was the end of my cheerleading career. <laughs> really? So you couldn't be? <laughs> was that in the Bible? Who made that rule up? That was one of the bylaws. You couldn't fraternize with the players. You couldn't be married. You had to go to Robert Morris, or, and you had to maintain a, a C average at least. <laughs> there were all these rules. <laughs> this is great. This is so fun. Yeah. Noreen Mercer Motory on board here with us, a 1964 Pittsburgh Steeler cheerleader alumni. This is hilarious. Yeah. I love this conversation. Um, so, <laughs> so you couldn't be pregnant. You couldn't date the players. But really, well, really, listen, listen, but... listen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I guess you couldn't be beca- you couldn't become pregnant by the players either because that really would have been a no. Oh heavens no! So oh, man. so listen now. Let let's really be honest though. Without throwing one of your girlfriends un- under the bus though, was you know we won't mention any names. Was there somebody that was kind of like maybe like hooking up a little bit maybe or trying to kind of like you know fraternize a little with one of the players? Like there has to be somebody on the on the cheerleading squad that like would come up going, you know what? I really want to go out with him. I don't care. And if if I do, I'm listen. Don't tell anybody. Anybody. Was there anybody like that at all? Well, not from our year, but we heard rumors <laughs> <laughs> later on, later in the 60s, probably <laughs> 68, 69, somewhere around there. Yeah. There was one, not mentioning names, not mentioning players, but there was <laughs> one that we heard about. But, you know, it wasn't anything salacious or anything like that. It was just a little bit of dating. Let's put it that way. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. So, I know. All right. I'm sorry. That's all right. So you don't even know if they got, they don't, you don't even know if they got the first or second base on the dates. I, I don't know. Or first or second down. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, this is so funny. Uh, so, so it was very different then. I mean, obviously oh. very different. And, and the uniforms, you know, with the picture that we have of Noreen on the uh, Colossal yeah. Radio Facebook page, like, it almost looked like they were, they were hot. They looked like it was wool. Well, no, no, they were made out of corduroy, actually. Corduroy. <laughs> remember that? Cor- remember that fabric? Corduroy. <laughs> yeah, I had. Yeah, I had pants that were corduroy. I do yeah. remember corduroy. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we started off uh, when we had our tryouts. We had like eight girls that made the the team, and uh, they had brought in a dance director at the time, and she had this vision. And in fact, she was way before her time. She wanted us to put the white boots on, like the the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders do. Yeah. Uh, put like a platform out in the middle of the stage and do high kicks and all kinds of stuff like that. Well, you know, us coming from high school, being cheerleaders, I was a majorette, you just didn't do that. You know, that wasn't that wasn't what the, the, the theme was. So we said, mm, no, you need to tone this down a bit. So we went to a, a black leotard on top 
and a little black skirt, which was shorter than we liked, and these l- god awful black tennis shoes. <laughs> that went, if it rained, your feet got purple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and then a, a a gold bow and a gold cummerbund. So we we looked kind of cute, but you know it wasn't our outfit of choice. So she lasted probably I think two games, <laughs> and we we got rid of her. We, I don't know how we got rid of her, but she just left. I guess we were just such obnoxious girls back then. That's <laughs> hilarious. Said, I want to do this. That's a, <laughs> maybe you made maybe yeah, you so, made maybe you made up a rumor that she was dating one of the guys on the team. <laughs> <laughs> she's 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 making the quarterback. I, I, we don't want her. In it. She is making the quarterback. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, hilarious. But anyway, we went. Yeah, we went to that uniform that you saw on, on a Facebook page. That to that uh, gold corduroy, you know, thing. That, so we were look more like the cheerleaders that we knew back in the day. So, but we did nice routines. We did some dancing. We did the Charleston and. Uh, this, we did one to the stripper, so that's you know, a little. Oh, really? A little did you back in the day? Oh, really, uh, yeah. David? David Rose, David Rose and the stripper. You yeah, did exactly. Oh, all yeah, right, we yeah. did that one. Yeah, with our. In fact, that one's on YouTube. If you ever have a chance, look up Steelerettes. Uh, Wait, Steelerettes, uh, 1964. Wait, yeah. we can do that. We can do that right now, right, guys? Yeah. Uh, Steelerettes. Yeah. Um, 1964 <laughs> Steelerettes. Uh, yeah, and I'm the far one on the right. <laughs> You'll see me. And then when it reversed, my sister took those. Back really? Day, he would be the one going to the game. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not the best quality, but, you know. It's That's fair. all right. That's okay. Yeah. Ste- yeah. Steeler, Steelerettes. We need to, uh, yeah. guys, you got to try to find that. Steelerettes, uh, if we can find 1964 that. 1964 Steelerettes. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. And uh, yeah. mm-hmm. we we have it right here on the uh, on the show right now. It's a, a two-minute okay. Oh, there, there you are. Let, let me, let me hear yeah, what right? this. What does it sound like here? Let's well, see. there's no there sound. There's no sound. Don't forget, this was eight millimeter. <laughs> oh, it's no sound. no sound. Oh, I see this. <laughs> That's right. Oh, this is absolutely. Uh, <laughs> this is absolutely awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I want to post the tallest one. <laughs> yeah, that's eight millimeter, and yeah, it is a little fuzzy, yeah. but you're there, and uh, yeah, I know. And you're, you're where? <laughs> you're the one to the left. I'm in the far right at the beginning, and then I changed to the left with the with the. I think we were doing the Charleston or something. Back okay, then. I all right, I was. see it. Yeah. How about okay. that? We'll have to tag okay. that. We'll have to tag that on our uh, Colossal Radio Facebook page, and uh, and again, they're uh, eight millimeter. Oh, there you are as a blonde. Look at you guys. There you go. Yeah, you're doing I the Charleston. Know. Yeah, you're doing the Charleston. Listen, I'm I'm looking cute. I'm looking at uh, all the cheerleaders. I wouldn't kick any one of you out of uh, out of bed for eating crackers, man. I'd keep you. Heck no, we were all really hot nineteen year olds. I'm tell- I would have been in. Hell, hell, man. Listen, I'm into a nineteen year old now, and I'm in my mid fifties. I don't care. I'll hook. I'll hook oh, no, you're not. I'll hook up with a. I'll hook up with a nineteen year old right now before the end of my radio show. I don't care. Look at you guys. And then you had the uh, the big hairdo thing going on. Holy crap! Oh, absolutely. Look at. <laughs> well, y'all had nice legs, man. I'm looking at the uh, the video. Yeah. We're gonna like. Um, You're good. Yeah, we're gonna be. Uh, we're gonna post this. Uh, we'll use this. So it was um, very cool. The first sanctioned NFL cheerleaders uh, were the Steelerettes, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. What else do we need to know, Noreen? With different things here on you guys, like you have some notes. Am I missing anything? Uh, give me, uh, give me some, give me some good stuff. Give me some dirt. Do you have any dirt? Sure. You know, the one memorable thing, we had a couple of memorable things. But my year, I don't know if you remember uh, Y.A. Tittle. He played for the New York Giants. Yes, I do. And and you had that memorable photo of him, you know, in the end zone with blood running down his face. That was taken in Pittsburgh. Actually, that we were at that game. And that was, you know, it was like a memorable time when, you know, that it was just so notable. And it was the end of his career. Basically, that was the end of his career. So it was sort of something that we can remember and, and uh you know, not feel bad about, but certainly, you know, it's certainly something to know and remember. And one thing, this was ha- this happened two years before I was there. This was in 1962. Uh, they had some boy cheerleaders, and they were called the Ingots. You know, the like the Ingots? Ingots, you know, right, you know, from the steel mills and stuff. So they, they would help with the game. And what they would do is uh, they would fire off a cannon when there was a uh, touchdown. Okay. So the you know there would be a touchdown, the music would start playing, the Steelers would go into their little routine, uh-huh. and they would fire off this cannon. So one time they fired it off <laughs> a little too close to the end zone, and I think it was uh, Buddy Dow was the, uh, the 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 player, and he was in the end zone, got the touchdown, and they fired it almost the same time he got in. And the poor guy thought he was shot. 
<laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that she scared him to death. <laughs> no so kidding. So needless to say, the ingots were gone after that game, and so was the cannon. <laughs> oh, so they so just because they fi- they misfired the cannon, they got rid of the boy cheerleaders exactly. and the cannon. Exactly. Oh they my, were gone. <laughs> you know what? It's like yeah. Yeah, they they needed yeah. back in the day. You needed to loosen up a little bit. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, you're not kidding me. I know. <laughs> that is funny. One game. One game. They yeah. get rid of the boy cheerleaders. There you are. Would it by? Would the bylaws? Were the bylaws written there when they brought on the boy cheerleaders that you couldn't fraternize with them either? <laughs> well, I don't think back then you had to worry about that. You know. All right. <laughs> I don't know if anybody even talked about it back then. But, you know, I probably. <laughs> we'll just say yeah. <laughs> that that is just that's funny. Yeah. Uh, so how many now? How many were on the uh, the Steelerettes when we're talking 1964 when you were a Pittsburgh Steelers uh, cheerleader, Noreen? How how many of them uh, were there? Well, in my year, we started off as eight, and then we went up to twenty, and so that's we had my year. But okay. every other year, they had around ten to twelve girls every year. Okay. And that's what they went down to again. So. Yeah. After we got rid of that dance director. Yeah. <laughs> so that was, yeah. That is um, hilarious. Yeah. Uh, so Except, y- you still get along? I mean, you still, you still, oh, uh, you, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, we do. Uh, actually, our first, we weren't together for like 30 some years. And in 2001, when uh, Pittsburgh opened up Heinz Field, they thought it would be nice to have us come back as a reunion. That's so great. that was the first time we got together. That was like 37 years. Uh, and we were going we did the interview, our local TV station came in and interviewed us and we walked down on the field and, you know, it was just a nice nostalgic thing. And it was great to see these women again who we hadn't seen, like I said, for 30, 35 years. Yeah. And it's amazing. We all knew each other. <laughs> Nobody That's... had changed. Everybody looked exactly the same, that you is... know, in our minds. But, you know, but we did. We got, we actually took pretty good care of ourselves. That and is... so we had our, yeah, great. No, yeah. that, that's. So we had our reunion. <laughs> we're both talking. Yeah, we both, we had a reunion, and um, but unfortunately, that was uh, that was going to be a Monday night football game, and they were going to showcase the you know Pittsburgh having their game at the New Heinz Field. Right. But that was nine eleven, and it, they postponed everything, so we weren't able. You know, we didn't get our little showcase. We had to wake. I think a week after that. So, but that wow. certainly was a memorable time, and uh, for us and for the nation too. But, uh, wow. Wow. Something to think about, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how about something to think about is right, indeed. Exactly, yeah. You know, yeah. indeed. So you, uh, again, uh, Noreen on, on board here with us, uh, Modri, uh, Noreen uh, Mercer Modri, uh, cheerleader for the Pittsburgh Steelers, first sanctioned uh, cheerleader for the NFL. And um, so you were there in 64. The bylaws uh, the bylaws uh, stated that, uh, you know, once you become pregnant and have a child, you can't be a cheerleader anymore. That's a dumb rule. <laughs> Uh, no, not so, quite in that order, but this <laughs> is <laughs> not in that order. So then, so what? What happened? So you had, so you had a a child, um, and um, um, le- legitimately, I, I would assume. I mean, and uh, right. you, yeah. you okay? Um, so it was a, yeah. it was a planned pregnancy, I guess, in the day. And um, uh, how many more? Yeah, ch- sort of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mother. My mother's ninety one. I got it. We, we were we were practicing Catholics back then. So that, <laughs> <laughs> my uh, I have to uh, I have to talk to uh, I got to show my mother and have my mother listen to this interview. My mother is ninety one. <laughs> my mother's ninety one. Oh. Still still as sharp Love as attack. Still as sharp oh, as attack. Okay. And every once in a while you. Uh, uh, you hear people talk about uh, and some do try to lay out their groundwork as far as planning a child i just had uh, uh, my son yeah. my son and daughter-in-law just had their uh yeah, their second I child did. my second grandchild but uh, you know that, yeah. but but it is it is funny uh where mm-hmm. back in the day just like you can attest to back in the day and uh they say plan pregnancy my mother goes yeah okay <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Let's hope. Yeah. Exactly. So, so how many, how many, how many children are in uh, Noreen's family now? Did you go on to, uh, you know, have more children, or just one and done, and they kicked you out of the cheerleaderettes? I think that was awful. Well, um, well as I, yeah, as I said, I got married in 1965. I had my first child in 1967, <laughs> okay. which was my daughter Chris. Yeah, and then I had two more daughters after that, Lori and Susie. And uh, today, I'm the, I'm the grateful, wonderful 
the best thing in the world grandmother of uh, of four great grandkids, Alec, Jake, Malia, and Evan. They are the love of my life. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. So, that yeah. is so yeah. so awesome. And do they know that yeah. you were a cheerleader for the uh, NFL? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's but great. They, they use it. They use it whenever they can, which isn't very often. Yeah, that's. <laughs> they do every once That's in a while. okay. Go ahead. My grand was an yeah. NFL. My grand was an NFL cheerleader. My grand. I would love that. <laughs> You know, you yeah. know what you should do. You should you should mess them up every once in a while. Just be really fun because we have fun with our grandkids and all of our whole sure. family. We just I'm the I'm the guy that says the stupid things, but it is fun every once in a while. Going and your grandmother was the first one to sport a thong too, and then they'll go, "What's that, Grandma?" <laughs> <laughs> we were Steelerettes right. and we had thongs on, and then they're like, "For <laughs> real." Uh, but, uh, you know, this yeah. is, it's neat stuff to be able to, and all kidding aside, to flash back and to know that, um, what a young spirit, uh, you, you are, you can feel you oh. as such a young spirit and it had to be a great time. You know, I guess it was only Absolutely. home. I guess it was only home games. You didn't go to any of the way games or did you? No, not at all. That, yeah. Just the home games. And what we do now is. It's, uh, we have we have what we call our group because we do lunches and we go away on weekends and we we've done a cruise and we do some uh, you know local stuff for like the senior homes yeah we're seniors <laughs> we go to the senior homes That's okay. and we do a little Steeler program where we do trivia and you know some uh, some questions and then we give out some bees and then we do a little dance routine for them and they it's it's great we love it because we love to keep our Steelers close to our hearts and that's. And everybody in, in Pittsburgh just, you know, they that's their team. So. Yeah, yeah. But another thing, yeah, and, and we call ourselves the Raw Raw Sisterhood. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <know> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, but what we what what's happened? Uh, I think in 2012, the uh, national NFL cheerleaders they started to have reunions, and they started the first one in Washington. The Washington Redskins cheerleaders had one in 2012. So every two years from then on, uh, we've gone to Atlanta and then Buffalo, and then Nashville, and then this year we're going to Las Vegas. And all the cheerleader alumni from all the different teams gather and uh, have a great time. We have a, a banquet. We have you know fun night. We have all kinds of good things. And it's amazing, you know, us being these I don't know, older women, yeah. <laughs> they love us. They, they, you know, they can't, and everybody comes up and says, my boyfriend, my husband loves the Steelers. That's their team. It's amazing how many people make the Steelers their team, you know. Yeah. And we're so glad to represent them, and hopefully we do a good job. But uh, it, it's always been, it's been a fun time. We always have fun. You know, if you can't have fun, and you can't have good memories, and you can't have good friends, you know, what, can, what else is there? That's uh, it. Ab- That's it. Ab- uh, absolutely. Um, at yeah. the at the end of my uh, at the end of my ride, I hope I have more friends than uh, than money. I mean, and that, uh, yeah. that that was instilled in us in a in a you know at an early age from my, yeah. my mom and dad. And uh, you know, yeah. um, you you can't carry on a conversation with a fifty dollar bill. Um, no, that's exactly right. Yeah. You no, know, but uh, so uh, so cool, man. And uh, yeah. you know, uh, tell them. So you call uh, Noreen. You call again. We're on the on the phone with Noreen Mercer. Uh, Noreen Mercer uh, uh, Motory with uh, she was a 1964 Pittsburgh Steeler cheerleader, uh, one of the Steelerettes, and uh, first sanctioned uh, cheerleaders in in the NFL, uh, coming by way of the Pittsburgh Steelers. You still call. Uh, the uh, the west coast of uh, PA. I mean, you're you're out there in Pittsburgh. Is that where we call home? Yeah, right. Exactly, just south of Pittsburgh, Bethel Park. I mean, well, which uh, is just a suburb. In fact, if you watch This Is Us, the TV show, you remember that. Uh, yeah. The guy who wrote it, he bases the story in Bethel Park. So, just a little trivia there for <laughs> all the fans out there. Interesting to know. <laughs> interesting to know. Yeah. And I know exactly where you are. Um, tell people, yeah. I mean, you know, there are, uh, obviously you're a sports fan. Obviously you're an NFL Pittsburgh oh, yeah. Steelers fan. Let's, you know, you know, you have, you have fanatics all over in any, any part of the country with their favorite teams. You do. However, Absolutely. however, <laughs> I've been, I've been there to, I've been there to Pittsburgh. Uh-huh. Tell them. Uh, even from your point of view, being a, a Pittsburgh, uh, a Pittsburgher, uh, how proud, how amazingly proud they are of the Steelers out there. This is this is like nothing else anywhere. Oh. Correct? Yeah, I mean they yeah they bleed black and black and gold. You know, people just you know you can have. We love our hockey teams too. You know, we love our Penguins, and I'm a big fan of them too, and the Pirates. But you know. 
when somebody says Pittsburgh, the first thing comes to mind is Steelers. And we've had girls, you know, all over traveling throughout the world, and they'll well, they're 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 well, they're Steelers stuff, and they'll say people from all over the world will come up and say, oh, we love the Steelers, you know, yeah. whatever language. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's just it's a phenomenal thing. Whatever this team has, whatever it's created. It's it's from the heart, and I think that's why it, it, it just resonates out from that. Yeah, it it is. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, it's a it's a it's a hell of a place to see a game uh, at Three Rivers oh, Stadium. Absolutely. I mean, it is that was, ab- that was, yeah. <laughs> absolutely ma- amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did uh, oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay. The uh, the 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 whole the, it was a gr- it's a great party town as well. I gotta say, do you oh. remember? Um, there was a club out there that uh, I would frequent visit. Even made a guest mm-hmm. DJ appearance. It was called <laughs> Donzies on the Waterfront. Oh yeah, I know where that was. You remember where <laughs> that, that was? was? That was a. Oh yeah. Remember. That was that. that Tell them how wild that that was a fun bar, right, Noreen? That was that was. I was only there actually for one of my daughter's bachelorette parties. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect place. That was the only reason why I went there as a designated driver. <laughs> that's and I would go. <laughs> that is that's too fun. Yeah, that, it yeah. was a, it was a good party at uh, Donzie's yeah, on the waterfront. It was a great party. Yeah. We, yeah. Yep. It yeah. was memorable. Let's put it that way. It was, it, ab- it was all fun. Absolutely. <laughs> it was uh, it was a whole lot of fun and. Uh, uh, sure. I, uh, I, I've been there and it, uh, uh, always had, uh, always had a great time and usually drank too much. I usually every time I get to Pittsburgh, <laughs> I, I usually drink too much, but, uh, but that's okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Have you, we're, happened, though. That, <laughs> I love her. So listen, uh, was anybody ever drinking when they were a Steelerette back in 64? Oh, on? are you kidding? Heavens no. no. All right. <laughs> no. Not at all. No. Not even a little. Like f- we were such goody two shoes. <laughs> really? Really? Were you really uh, that? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you know, we were. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we were. No, that's okay. (laughs) Not sorry, really. No, no. That's what it was. No, that's that's all right. I didn't know if anybody had like a, you know, like a lipstick flask or something uh, that they would uh, they would carry. No, we were too naive. (laughs) All right. That's all right. 19. And that look how times have changed now. Right. Isn't it crazy? Oh, Oh, my gosh. Yeah, for sure. How times have changed. (laughs) But um, you are. You are, like I said, such a young spirit. Uh, Noreen Mercer, uh, Motory, uh, on uh, on board with us. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelerette, uh, back in the uh, back in the '60s, '64, and uh, this was awesome. I had no idea where Dave, my publicist, was going with this one. And uh, you know, when he asked me, how did he find you? Did, do you do kind of like PR work for the Steelerettes? Like, I mean, how did he find you? Well, uh, actually, one of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, I'm friends with her on Facebook, and I've met, I've met her, as I said, at these NFL cheerleader reunions, and she said that they wanted somebody from Pennsylvania. She thought I would be fun, <laughs> so I hope I'm fun, but, oh. you know, and yeah, that's how I got, I guess he contacted her or somewhere along the line, and uh, that's how I got, you know. On board with you. Oh my gosh, that is uh, that is okay. so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I, you know yeah. what? This was so f- it was so fun. I mean, so good. I'm so glad much you enjoyed fun. it. Yeah. I did. I did too. I did. Mm-hmm. So uh, you went on. Were you? Uh, let's uh, uh, just uh, real quick uh, to bring it kind of like full yeah. circle. A cheerleader uh, had three beautiful daughters. Um, uh, right. Obviously, a husband. Do you still have the same husband? Uh, Fifty-four years. Yep, same guy. Wow. In fact, he would be the one. We would get one ticket. To the game that was the, that was one of the perks. I'm sorry, I forgot that one. One ticket in the end zone, and I gave it to him. So he would sit in the end zone. And his famous famous saying was, "He wasn't a football or a Steeler fan, but he was a Steelerette fan." Ah. <laughs> so that's lasted us 54 years. <laughs> wow, that's that's awesome. That's la- that's lasted longer than all three of mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's no joke. Anyway, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that's actually a true but story. Look at all the great kids you have. Yeah, there's and yeah, yeah, there's, and, yeah, yeah probably exactly right. there are and probably illegitimate ones uh, from being too drunk <laughs> in Pittsburgh. But that's all right. Uh, nobody's <laughs> okay. yeah, nobody's asked me for money yet. So uh, that's right. We won't take any DNA. <laughs> <laughs> no. So now, after uh, after you were Steelerette, uh, mm-hmm. did you go on? I mean, back in the day, it was it was a housewife. Were were you a housewife? Did you go on for a career? Right. What did yeah. you do? That's well, I worked a little bit. I went to Robert Morris, so that was a business school at the time. So I I was a bookkeeper and secretary and did all mm-hmm. that stuff. That guy still work now. I worked for the same company now for forty years. 
but I just do part time now. So, uh, but uh, yeah, you got to keep that mind active and keep the body active. I I do Zumba still yet and silver sneakers. So, you know, you got to keep moving. You got to keep learning. You got to keep that mind open. Yeah. You know, just go with the flow. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 yeah my, that's what uh, you that, do. That is uh, that's so cool to uh, mm-hmm. to have uh, you know get a little insight back in the day corduroy mm-hmm. Steeler outfits corduroy <laughs> ladies and gentlemen corduroy uh, my gosh it certainly was durable though wasn't it oh yeah it, you know it lasted like what the whole season <laughs> but yeah I, I I don't even know where it is now I might have given this to somebody but some actually we're part of the uh, Heinz History Museum which is part of the Smithsonian, which is kind of cool. And we have a display there in, in, the, uh, in the Heinz History Museum. So we have pictures and we have some of the uniforms and, you know, uh, the memorabilia from the day. So it, it's, a, it's a nice little uh, display they put on there for us. So oh, that is... We're right in the Steeler, where the Steeler, are, Steeler memorabilia is. So, oh. yeah, it's, yeah, it's good to, good to be remembered. That, so. How about it, man? Mm-hmm. That is so yeah. very cool. I mean, honestly, that mm-hmm. is that is just so neat, uh, you know, with a little history on it. We have to look for it in the uh, in the museum, uh, which is really exactly, cool. Exactly, yeah. You know, I, mm-hmm. and, you're, and you're there. Is yeah. there a picture of you there even as well? Are you yeah, actually, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a picture of the, there's, I think, two, two or three pictures. They, they changed them out because we've given them a lot of our stuff. Yeah. So they have a picture of my year, 1964, and I think there's another year, and I, I think it's 65 or 6. I'm not quite sure. Right. But, yeah, they do. But they do. They change them out. So, you know, everybody gets a little bit of the representation. So it's, That's it's really great. Like, you know, you're in, yeah. you're in, you're in, like you, you've gone down in history. You know, I can only hope to get into a museum. I hope I get. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that the town of Lehighton, Pennsylvania, puts up a freaking bronze statue of me or something. You know, there you, go. I, you know, I don't care if pigeons even shit on it. I don't care. It's like I think I at least deserve some kind of a statue. <laughs> they maybe I don't care if they even I don't even care if they erect it at the sewer plant. I don't even care. It doesn't matter. It's at the, the sewer plant on. Yeah, right on the DNL trail, the sewer plant on the DNL trail. So, uh, listen, this has been absolutely an awesome half hour, uh, and and I, and I want to make I sure I, I, I do have the name right, right? Noreen Mercer uh, Motory. I got it right, Mo- Motory. Correct. All right, and uh, right. a Pittsburgh Steelerette uh, back in 1964, mm-hmm. and and actually gone down in history with this, with, as she said, pictures in museums, uh, Heinz Field Museum, uh, is pretty crazy. Um, You did, have you ever done one of these interview things ever before? I mean, other than like maybe little bits and pieces of anything like through uh, like TV, your local TV station? Yeah, we did a couple for the, our local TV station, WQED, which where Mr. Rogers was was made yeah, too. Yeah. A little history there, yeah. yeah. But yeah, they we were there. They came to the history museum when we first had our display there, and we were interviewed there, and we were we're, we were interviewed on this TV show, and then some radio I've done, and um, well, you knocked you it know, out. A couple you, of things like that. You yeah. knocked it out of the park. I mean, you you definitely oh, knocked okay. it. You you totally knocked it out of the park, man. You uh, you really did. And obviously, you're online. Noreen was uh, facebooking me. Uh, I, I think it was like uh, last week, even saying, "I'm looking forward right. to being on the show." So she's definitely yeah. online. And um, what we're going to do is um, we'll have the guys uh, upload this to the Colossal Radio YouTube uh, channel, so you'll be able to share this uh, share this uh, this interview with uh with your kids and your daughter and okay. and and i hope they I, ho- I hope they don't get mad being that i brought up like that the steelerettes in 64 were in fact actually i heard were wearing thongs but nobody knew that but i know that so well, I that, hope- was, that was under the uniform <laughs> <laughs> see i told you <laughs> but uh hey and speaking of mr rogers have did you did you meet him was was uh, mr fred walking around there at all being that he was from uh from out in that way in pittsburgh have you ever run into him no, I never did, but my daughter did. She lived out near where he lived, and uh, he would you know, walk the streets out around there, you know, for his morning walk or stuff. And just, just a great guy. We did miss, we did meet Mr. McFeely, though. Do you know who Mr. McFeely? I do. Like, yeah. The, the, yes. Yeah. 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 We met him at the History Center. They were doing a, some kind of a, a benefit down there, and we were down there, and we got a chance to talk to him and get his autograph. So That's yeah, cool. it, it's you know, yeah, it is. It's very very cool indeed. Yeah. Uh, one other thing too, I wanted to let you know, we have a website too, Stillarets gives you our whole history, gives you some of the pictures of today and back in the day, and some of the stuff we talked about today is on there. So it's, it, it, uh, cater, it shows all the years from 61 to 69. 
and uh, and one of um, the girls who did this she did a great job, Diane Rossini. She uh, put this all together, and it's 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 a good thing to have and to look back at and have that history. Which, Absolutely. Uh, most of the time, when yeah, when somebody says, uh, you know, I, when I say we were Steelers, I say, well, what are that? Like we were cheerleaders for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, the Steelers never had cheerleaders. Ah, yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's what you get. Yeah, nobody really remembered that. So. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're there. <laughs> we, uh, we'll do that. Steeler, Steelerettes.com, right? Dot com. Steelerettes.com. Mm-hmm. That is awesome. Uh, this is, I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was so much fun, like, hanging out with you. Like, uh, you know, like, uh, like, yeah. like, like you, you know, you get a good feel. Like, you can, first of all, you, you got, like, motherly instincts. If I come out to Pittsburgh and I drink too much, I'm looking you up. I'm crashing on your couch. That's what Absolutely. I'm going to do. Absolutely. All right. You got it. I'm, and I'm safe. I'm, I'm safe. I really am safe. Um, Absolutely safe. Uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, this la- this last half hour has been uh, has been a whole lot of fun. What what uh, what's what a great uh, great vibe you give off. I uh, I wish you all the best with your family and those grandbabies, and uh, and certainly uh, you know just best in everything uh, that you do, Noreen. This was uh, this was a real blast and uh, and a real pleasure to uh, get a little insight on what it was like. Uh, back in the day for the first sanctioned uh, cheerleaders in the NFL, the Steelerettes. uh, That's pretty amazing. Um, All the best to you. We will send you a link to this uh, video or this uh, this audio clip as well that that you have it personally, too. Thank you, Uh, Doc. I had a great time. I'm so glad I was able to give some information maybe somebody didn't know before. And can I give a shout-out to my Rawa sisters? Absolutely. Barbara, Barbara, Jeannie, Marlene, Diane... Val, Lynn, Denise, Bonnie, Patty, and Marianne, Sherry, and Judy, they're probably all listening. I sent the link out to everybody, hopefully. And I, there are more, but you know what? These are, these are my girls right now. So we do lunches. We have a great time. We keep our group together. You know, we, we try to you know, promote who we are and what we are and just have a great time doing it. So, And thank you so much for, for thinking of me and, and putting me on, on your, your wonderful show. I'm starting to listen to it. I have it on my Alexa now. I got it on my iPhone. I got it on my iPad. You're everywhere. Uh, that's awesome. I'm, and, and, you know, listen, I'll apologize now that, uh, you know, every once in a while, you know, I, I feel like it's a need to let people know, like, you know, 82% of women wear the wrong bra. I feel the need well, to, I feel the need, <laughs> I feel the need to pass along some Valentine's Day positions for every type of relationship in every age group. I feel that that is a public service to the entire nation. Don't you agree? I agree. You know, it's I, all about life and having a good time. Right. And, and, yeah, it, and loving. It and sure, it's, love. uh, yeah, it's all about love. It sure beats politics. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd rather talk about sex than politics, to be honest with you. You got But I, that's I, just me. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. Noreen. I think I remember it. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you are to all the uh, the Rah Rah sisters and uh, for downloading the, uh, the phone app and having us all over. It is all about fun here on the East Coast side of the state of Pennsylvania. Yes. And uh, mm-hmm. to you uh, there on the West and all your people that uh, are out there in Pittsburgh, you have been an Thank absolute, you. <laughs> you you knocked it out of the park, Noreen. You knocked it out of the park. Well, um, I had a great time. Listen, all the best to you. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with, uh, we'll catch up with you again, maybe down the road. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll do something. Maybe we can hope that Pittsburgh gets into like the playoffs and into the Super Bowl and we can hook up with you again. Absolutely. would be a great thing to do. Listen, all the best to you, and thanks again for the laughs. You were wonderful. Thank you. I had a great time, too. Thank uh, uh, you. You bet. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a nice, 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 nice lady for real, man. Like, that was, uh, that was like, too cool. I mean, I just had too much fun. She was a trip. <laughs> Noreen Mercer uh, Modry. First sanctioned cheerleaders in the NFL, the 1964 Steelerettes, right? It's pretty crazy, right? This is fun. Good job, Dave Miller. Dave DeBoogie. Listen, we got uh, we got some business we have to do, some more music that we're going to knock out of the park here for you as well. Um, stick around for a little while. Lee Heighton, Palmerton, Jim Thorpe, and Nationwide. It's Colossal Radio. Find us online at colossalradio.rocks.